Hi everyone, this is Angela Andrew, and today I'd like to share with you the new HDR Merge in Luminar Neo. This is a really great addition to the Luminar Neo platform and allows you to merge bracketed images. Brackets are when you photograph images at different exposure levels and then merge them together to create a tone mapped HDR photo. Let me show you how it's done. We're gonna start off in Luminar Neo and I have a few images that are bracketed here to work with. To make sure you have the extension installed, go up to the puzzle piece icon in the upper left corner, click on that, and it's gonna open up a window showing you what extensions are available for installation. You can see the HDR Merge is listed and we already have it installed. If you haven't yet installed it, click install and then enter your activation code, and then you should be ready to go. For now, I'm gonna close this window and we can start having some fun. I'm gonna begin by selecting a few photos, so I have my three bracketed images. I'll click on the first one, hold down the shift key and click on the third one. And now all of those images are selected and I will click and drag them over to the HDR merge extension. From here, we can go over to the settings and see what options are available. When I do HDR, I always check auto alignment, even if I'm shooting this on a tripod. Now these images were shot handheld, but doing this on a tripod, you still want to have the auto alignment checked for the best result. Ghost reduction is an option that I'll check if there was movement in the frame. That can be anything from a person moving through the image, trees moving in the background from the wind, and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on ghost reduction because I know that there was movement in some of these trees. It was a fairly windy day. And I'm gonna go down to the amount and choose low. I always like to choose the lowest amount possible. Again, that gives you the best possible image quality to work with. From there, I'll click outside of the settings and choose merge. And we'll give that a moment to let it process. Now our HDR has been created. You can find that file in the HDR merge folder that's been automatically created when you do your first HDR. And any subsequent HDR that you create will end up in that folder. So now let's go ahead and take a look. And this image looks great. What I'm going to do is click back on catalog, grab that thumbnail, and drag it back to my album for my HDR demo. This way I can click on the demo and I can see all of my images side by side. So here was my middle exposure, and then we can go ahead and take a look. There's the darker one, the brightest one, and here is our merged image. You can see that the tones and it is nice and sharp with great detail. It's one of the things I love most about HDR processing. Now that we have our HDR file, all that's left to do is go over to either presets and add a preset to stylize your image or manually stylize your image over in the edit tab. We'll talk more about that in a future video, but for now, I wanted to show you how to get started to create your own HDR images. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great time working with the new HDR Merge in Luminar Neo. I'm Angela Andrew, and we'll see you next time.